just, just two weeks ago, in the midst of a terrible tragedy on the Potomac, we saw again the spirit of American heroism at its finest. The heroism of dedicated rescue workers saving crash victims from icy waters. And we saw the heroism of one of our young government employees, Lenny Scutney, who, when he saw a woman lose her grip on the helicopter line, dived into the water and dragged her to safety. additional snow into the Washington, D.C. area, ending later tonight. The highs today are expected to be 30 to 35 degrees and cloudy. The lows are expected to drop below freezing again into the 27 to 31 degree range. The chance of snow is 90 percent today, dropping to 80 percent. me, you know. Little Priscilla nursing her own baby. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. But you know, Dad says there's a real future in this job he's lined up for Jose. Life is easy in Florida. You'll never have a miserable day like this. Good morning. Awake many hours. I do. You nervous? Mm -mm. Excited? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Look at this weather. Priscilla, in this weather, our plane will still fly? Oh, sure. A little snow won't stop them. Nikki! Get in the bedroom! Well, one of us looked at the thermometer, Ron. I am taking this on the trip. Mm -hmm. The uh, rising executive's all-purpose wardrobe. It's ideal for staff meetings, impressing the client. This is for R&R in Florida. This is for business. Well, that's a letdown. Oh, you want buttermilk, chocolate covered, jelly filled? One of these and I won't be able to get back into this. Dave, are you sulking? Oh, no, I never sulk or pout. I have been known to brood, to gloom, and of course I cry a lot. Mm. This trip to Alabama and to Florida it means a lot to me. Right. The boss is finally accepting the brash and aggressive young woman. That's right, as an associate, not as a glorified secretary. You know, I, I wasn't sure he ever would. No, I wasn't sure that you wanted him to. Well, Joe's tough because he wants to stay ten steps ahead of the rest of the world, but he's the best. All right, so now you can be out there in front with him. I just wish you could be happier about it. I would be a lot happier about it if we were married. Oh, come on, David, not this morning. What difference does it make? You know, we're doing just fine the way we are. Marriage doesn't add anything except complications. I was there once. And never again? I didn't say that. 
Just don't hurry me. We've got plenty of time. You know, you do something on impulse, and, and the next thing you know, your whole life's out of control. Once you start rolling, you just can't stop. Well, what's wrong with that? As long as you're going in the right direction. I know it's cold. Look, if you were a cat, you'd have a nice warm sandbox. You're a dog, so go. Go! New record for you. I think what I'm doing here is nuts. Could be right. Pumping away by the hour, getting no place. They put people away for doing things that make more sense. Don't look at me like that. You have school? They can't make up their minds. It's ridiculous. Do the Eskimos close their school every time it snows? <laughs> We're not Eskimos. Staying home is so boring. Thank you. Me? I wouldn't mind staying home. I mean, I still can't figure why the company's sending me on this trip. They've got seven others going. Well, we'll both stay home. Hey, why don't we get out the sled? Usually you look forward to your trip. Maybe if it wasn't so soon after the transfer. All I know is that I'd rather be here with you and Al than down in Florida with a bunch of strangers. You're not sorry we made the move, are you? Well, it was a promotion. It used to be, if it meant a promotion, I'd go to China. <laughs> Lately, though, I'm not so sure. Well, I better be getting to the office. I'll be back uh, 10, 10 30. I still have to pack. Oh, you're really putting it off this time. I guess I just played and don't feel like going. Go wake her up. Mm. Oh, Ginger, go away. Go away. Roger. Oh, shit, you go away. Go away. Go away. Roger. She loves you. Oh. Anyway, it's time to get up. It's another beautiful day out. Ah. Oh. It's snowing. It's cold and it's miserable. Naval recruiting would <laughs> think without you. <laughs> Ugh. You're all sweaty. Well, I just cycled from here to Saskatchewan and back. <laughs> well, I told you lately that you are a weird person. Lucky I work in a mental hospital. <laughs> Ginger, mm. do not let her go back to sleep. <laughs> her, not me. Her. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While snow threatens the entire Northeast, we here in Miami bask in continued sunshine. The forecast for Miami today should be continued clear skies through the day. It's snow flurries. Cloudy in the late I hate afternoon. these overnights, even in good weather. In downtown Miami, Donna's on this flight, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Well, at least you'll have good company. In other parts of the country, 
The National Weather Service reported that 75 record low temperatures. What's have this? Been set the date the, the baby will be born? <laughs> I'll bet you it's a week earlier. In Chicago to a one degree Ten dollars. In Augusta, Georgia. As we take a look at our weather map, we'll see rain spread from the Pacific Northwest across the northern intermountain region. When are you going to tell Air Florida we're pregnant? I'll finish this trip, and I'll send the company a letter, and they'll put me on suspension. And go back, you know. I always hoped someday I could work the international flights. Well, what did Glenn say about our going out for his birthday? Uh, he's really looking forward to it. You'll finish up today then? I've got reservations on Eastern around noon, unless there are complications. Seems to me there's been nothing but complications. You've been on this case ever since I first met you. And now the Federal Reserve Board gave me the okay. I've got to go down there and close that bank. A lot of innocent people are going to be hurt, Carol. That's not your fault. I know. It's my job and I'll do it. But that doesn't make it any easier. Why must you always feel so responsible for others? I wish just once you could think of yourself first. I'll survive. I love you, Arland. I just want to see you relax, enjoy yourself more. We'll have the whole weekend. A refresher course in enjoying ourselves. Maybe we'll talk about wedding dates. Sounds great. But let's make sure Glenn's on board before we firm up our plans. There you go again. Always putting somebody else first. Call me when you get into Tampa. Bye-bye. Yeah. Listen, you take my car today. I need your Jeep. Okay. I worry about a pregnant lady climbing in and out of that Jeep. I'll do fine. Hey, this kid's athletic, just like his old man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take good care of my Jeep. Come back safe, babe. mental institution. You better start with the plumbing instead of this piece of junk. Concrete, electric lock. Who are we trying to keep out of here? The patients. What do the patients want in here? There's nothing worth stealing. Anyway, they're not thieves. Roger. Locks are reassuring. Not to me. Gentlemen. Mr. Farrell, how come you're out in this weather? Oh, there's work to be done here for to reach the great church on the river. Well, you're going to need a snowplow today. And a dog sled. The elements shall not deter us. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, how little you know, my man. Once I reach the great church on the river, I shall be given the key, flag, all the money. And 100 virgins shall be mine. Quite an incentive, 100 virgins. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get there, Mr. Farrell. You have what it takes. I was considered outstanding in my class, though it was a remarkable group of students. Abbott, Atherton, Bennett. Okay, Mr. Farrell. But okay. Jordan. Carlisle, Converse, DeMarco, Rover, Endicott. Don't keep those hundred virgins waiting, Mr. Farrell. For me, Kuzma, Ames, Hawkins, Hirsch. What a weirdo. Can you name all the kids who are in the third grade with you? Of course not. Mr. Farrell can. 
He has a few things he does better than most people. Who can claim more than that? You here before me? I don't believe it. The first time and probably the last. <laughs> I can't explain it. It was like any other morning. I figured to be late as usual, but I found a clean blouse right away. My car engine turned over immediately, and there was no back of traffic. It's an unusual day. Uh, got your park in Irmas? Is it going to be that bad? The guys say we may not even get into Washington. Ooh. Hi, Kelly. How you doing? Great. Are you? Am I what? Didn't you get the results of the tests back yesterday? Well, are you? Of course. <laughs> Nikki, mm -hmm. I've got to get a report out on this morning's meeting. Flight's at noon. When do you want us to leave? Mm, I'll be ready by 11. Have you heard what the weather's like in Alabama? Couldn't be worse than this. Mm. Well, those months of hard work really paid off, Arlen. I've never seen a more comprehensive file. Nothing about this investigation has been easy. Ah, uh, you're in the home stretch now. When's your plane leave? Noon. I'm not going to make it. Would you ask your secretary to cancel my flight to Tampa and book me on something later? Yeah, sure. After start. Electrical. Generators. Pedo heat. On. Anti-ice. Off. Air conditioning pressurization. Packs on flight. APU. Running. No. Priscilla, wait, wait, wait. This is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Uh, these two will just have to go in the back seat. Where are you going to sit? On top of them. That's it. Everything we own. <laughs> doing it over and over. Well, there are so many things that I remember that I hadn't said to you. Like you decided to marry me? David. I was just a wild guess. So, what is it uh, that you remember? I forget. Listen, honey. Have fun in Alabama. David, I love you. Got a change in schedule. The airport in Alabama is closed two inches of snow. So we'll go to Tampa first. 
Leave on air, Florida, 215, flight 90. Okay. Naval recruitment. Woofer, go home. Is that an order? Yeah, because if you don't get moving now, the way it's coming down, you may get snowed in. With uh, 200 able-bodied seamen. Of course, if that appeals to you. <laughs> I'm on my way. What about you? First, I gotta exercise. Goodbye, Roger. Thank you. Well, the airport's still open, but they don't know how long. If you drive all the way in, and then the flight's canceled, then... <laughs> They've got to take off sometime, and I've got a book to read. All right. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. See you soon. Okay. Plans to descend. After that, who knows? Weather's fine up here. That feels not what's real. You marry the baby, that's what's real. And now that you're pregnant, at least you won't have to fly anymore. But I love flying. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Wouldn't you if you had to quit? Not really. Departure for Tampa may be delayed. They may close the airport to plow the runways. It's all right. As long as we know we got a plane on the ground, we don't mind waiting. 18A and 18B. Thanks. Money. Let's grab some meat. get in here with weather this bad, you know? It's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Howdy. Even the birds are walking in this weather. They say they're going to have the runway cleared in about an hour. Fine, but then we'll have to decide if the weather is good enough to use it. 
smoking or non-smoking? Oh, well, I've been trying to quit, but, uh, well, maybe today I'd better be smoking. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. I don't feel right leaving you. Don't worry, Grandma, we'll be okay. But if they don't open the airport... <laughs> Stop worrying. <laughs> Go on, get yourself home before they close the parkway. Oh, goodbye. Jose. You better stop frowning, Grandma. You'll get wrinkles. Mm. I'll come back for those later. Hang on, I'll get it. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'd like to make a dinner reservation for this Friday. It's a birthday party. For three. Seven thirty. Could you put it in the name of Williams? Arland Williams. <laughs> Nikki, mm. paratroopers. Probably headed for Fort McDill. I tell you, there's always something about a soldier. Yeah, especially when you grow up in the army. You an army brat too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My dad and granddad were both regular. How about you? Just to be ornery, I went Navy. Mm. Air cadet. Is that where you learned how to fly? Mm. That's where it all started. But there's been a lot of training since. I bet I'm the only passenger with their own personal pilot. You think you know that? <laughs> Don't we sound silly when we talk to him? You we should talk silly. to him like an adult. Read any good books lately? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Good. Oh. You want to sit on Daddy? You want to sit on Daddy? It's a happier place to be. Ladies and gentlemen, for all passengers holding boarding passes on Air Florida Flight 90 to Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, we are now ready to board. Directly to the hotel for me. Yeah. We'll all be meeting got me a window seat, the window you can't see through. <laughs> oh, uh, miss, waiting makes me very thirsty, okay? Oh, there is. Now we think I'll get you a drink order today. Shut up. How old is he? Nine weeks. He's beautiful. Give me a call if you need anything. Okay. Thanks. Fine person. I bet she's pregnant. Or hope she is. Now, how do you know that? Just feel it. When you've been a mother as long as I have, you just know these things.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Air Florida Flight 90 from Washington, D.C. to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with an intermediate stop in Tampa. I'm Senior Flight Attendant Donna Adams. Assisting me forward is Marilyn Nichols, and aft is Kelly Duncan. Would you please give your attention now to the attendants as they demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. There are six emergency exits. Two forward, two aft, and one over each wing. In the unlikely event of a loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop from the overhead compartment. Discontinue smoking. Grab the mask and pull at the full extent of the cord to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and continue to breathe normally until advised by a crew member. Parents traveling with small children should first secure their own masks and then their children's lives. Each seat is equipped with a seat belt. Simply insert the metal tip in the slot and lift the latch to release. We suggest you take a few moments to familiarize yourself with these and other safety features. You will find these detailed on the card in the seat pocket in front of you. Thank you. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Do you think we'll really take off? No, we'll take off. If it's safe. Is it like coming home? One of these seats should have my name on it. You've been flying down to Tampa a lot. Five, six times this month. Hmm. On this flight. Well, maybe someday I'll be a blase veteran like you. Tampa today, Brussels tomorrow, Seattle next week. If that's what you want. Do I hear dissatisfaction? No, oh, I'm doing okay. All these years hard at it. I'm still working for somebody else. <laughs> you could certainly get backing for your own company. Yeah. Somehow, I never seem to be able to get the momentum up to do it. Are they starting to de-ice? Well, it sounds like it. Oh, we must be fairly close to takeoff then. I hope so. Just got word the airport will not be reopening at 2.30. Let's hold off on the de-ice and come here and take off, okay? Three o'clock. They're still boarding passengers. That guy just got lucky. You're the perfect boss, Sam. You never say a word. Want to know what we're doing? The lady insists on driving this old barge. Okay. we got to make it easier for her to get in and out now that she's carrying a passenger. This step will do it. Wheaton again. Just been advised the airport is reopening. So please proceed with the icing. Looks like a snow cone gone wrong. Ethylene glycol and water. The wings are where it matters most. A coating of ice on a wing, you could be in trouble on this dog. More over here, please. <laughs> <laughs> Gas, batteries going down, no heater, no radio, no wipers, and I'm caught in a total blizzard. Come on. There you go. Miss? Mm -hmm. Now, we do have a captain and a first officer up front, don't we? Yes, sir. 
to think that one of them would take a walk around outside, check firsthand there's no ice build up on the wings or in the engine. The anti-ice system should take care of that. I'm sure the captain's taking the necessary precautions. Funny. So we get on these big planes and most of us don't really have any idea what puts us up there, even keeps us up there. Can bad weather really stop a jet engine? Probably not, Nikki. But there's a power probe in the front of the engine. If it's iced up, you could get a phony reading on the engine instruments. You see, you think you got this much power, but you only have this much. But no problem with anti-ice. No. No problem. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Brakes off. Brakes are off. This airplane reminds me of catechism school. <laughs> no, it's true. In catechism, they teach there's a place called limbo. It's not heaven, it's not hell. It's not good, no bad. Somewhere in between. I think all of us were in limbo. Querido, we're in a 737. And in an hour or so, we're going to be in Tampa. Oh, Mama. Hello. I don't know. I'm fine. I was just surprised to hear your voice. Generators. Heat oh heat. On. Anti-ice. Off. Air conditioning pressurization. Max on flight. Hey, Pop. Not giving you up. I'll never do that, son. The old man may be a little late, but count on him. Yeah, I allowed myself extra time. Didn't need it. I don't know why I even bothered to come in. Five bucks says you fly today. You that bored already? Five bucks. Okay, you're on. No way do I take the Eagle up in this. Okay, Palm 90. Palm 90, just pull over behind that uh, DWA hole right there. We'll be falling in line behind the uh, Apple DC 9. You're 16th in line for takeoff. Palm 90. Flight 34, you're now number three for takeoff. Uh, monitor tower 119.1. How's it look? Some buildup on both wings. Obviously, we'll be using maximum thrust for takeoff, and if that's not enough, we'll just shove the throttles to the firewall. United 101, you're cleared for takeoff. This is cruddy. It's probably the cruddiest snow I've ever seen. It's been a while since we've been de-iced. Flight 34, you're clear to take off. 34 rolling. Look at his exhaust there. Tell you what, my windshield will be de-iced. I don't know about my wing. It's gonna get your wing now. 
Did they get yours? Can you see your wingtip? There's a little on mine. A little? This one's got about a quarter to half inch on it all the way. You see this difference between the left engine and the right one? Yeah. I don't know why that's different. Unless it's his hot air going into the right one. That must be it. From his exhaust. Was doing that in the chocks a while ago. So I got married when I was 20, and I knew that we didn't have a prayer. But I just got so into it, the plans, the invitations, the church wedding, the bridesmaids, that I couldn't pull out. It was like a toboggan ride. Well, the marriage lasted a little over a year, and uh, then I got myself a pretty good job and put myself through college. I'm talking too much. No, 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 Nikki. Most people get edgy waiting. Mm. Don't do that, Apple. I need to get the other wing done. <laughs> What's funny? Your dad. He's so good to me now. Getting me a job, buying these airline tickets. When I first met him in Spain, I thought he hated me. <laughs> Always frowning. Yeah. Dad frowned at any boy I saw more than once. When he took you back to America, I thought I would never see you again. Wouldn't you have come after me? Carried me away? I wanted to, but America seems so far. I know. I had to come after you and carry you away. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla, mm. sometimes you look like such a little girl. <laughs> But look, I know that you're very strong. Well, I gotta be. I gotta take care of my men. Boy, this is a... This is a losing battle trying to de-ice these things. Gives you a false feeling of security. That's all it does. Yeah, but satisfies the feds. Right there's where the icing truck should be. They ought to have two of them. <laughs> then we taxi through them, like a <laughs> car wash. <laughs> now from Palm 90, if you're with me. We'll be going out after uh, the red DC-9 Appletite. Palm 90. We have been alerted to prepare for takeoff. So please Could you check to be seat certain seat? that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Could you put your All seat? have luggage yes. stowed underneath the oh, seat. Could you put your tray in? And your seats and tray tables return to their original upright position. Could you put your tray in? You know, it's funny. Larry and I, we've always tried to live each day, each minute, forget yesterday, let tomorrow take care of itself. But all of a sudden, we're planning ahead. Next year, five years. I can't believe it's us. Something new has been added. <laughs> I think it's time I did some planning, too. <laughs> Slows your runway. You want me to do anything special for this, or just go for it? <laughs> Unless you got something special you'd like to do. I'll take the nose wheel off and we'll just let it fly off. We'll be climbing to 5,000. I'll pull the power back to 155. It's supposed to be 16. Depending on how scared we are. Paul, <laughs> <laughs> you taxi into position and hold. You're ready for an immediate. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been cleared for takeoff. Flight attendants, please be seated. Do you want to stop here with me? Sure. Tom 90, clear for takeoff. No delay departure, if you will. Traffic's two and a half out for the runway. Okay.
look at that thing. That doesn't seem right, does it? Uh, that's not right. Yeah, it is. There's 80. No, I don't think that's right. Maybe it is. 120. I don't know. B1. Easy. B2.
be on the other side. Oh. Hey, I love you! Just me! No one else! Help us! We're freezing out of here! <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Nikki, my legs are broken. Mine too. And my my foot. We need ambulances, paramedics, everything. At oh, least man, five vehicles on the bridge were hit. And the plane's in the river. God, somebody's gotta help us. <laughs> <laughs> Help us! Help us! Help! 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 announcement. We have a report that a plane has crashed on or near the 14th Street Bridge. We repeat, a plane has crashed on or near the 14th Street Bridge. Air floor 
charges, Boeing 737, took off northbound on runway 36 uh -huh. from Washington's National Airport. If only we knew whether your dad was on that plane. Even if he was, he could still be okay, right? You believe that, don't you? Hundreds of commuters on their way home were stuck He's in a gun town. Maybe in the river. Let's do it. Could you use a little excitement? Anything, man. See, is this plane hit a bridge? Yeah? Wiped out everything in sight and ended in the river. Where'd you get that story? It's floating around. The guy started it. He's floating too. Too much ice. I don't know. There's no way to get a boat down through here. There's too much ice. Of course you're upset, Mother, but try to calm down and let me check it out with Air Florida. I'll call you right back. Get that life jacket behind you. Hold on to me. Here, let me help you. Tell us who was hurt on the bridge. And rescue vehicles have been hampered from reaching the scene due to the amount of snow bone trap. <sighs> Put that life vest over your head now. The crash occurred at approximately 4 o'clock. We know there are fatalities on the bridge, but we have no information on possible survivors in the plane.
Early report. Hang on! Don't give up! Hey. I can't. Look over there. I can't get any closer. But... <clears throat> We're gonna make it. Hang on! Just... just a little while! Thank God. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna make it. You over there! We're gonna be okay! Shiver. Try. Shiver. I'm too shiver. Tampa and Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the time of the crash, shortly after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There are no reports as to what may have caused... Honey, are you all right? I'm all right. You're not all right. National Airport. You're in a cold sweat. Hundreds of rush hour commuters were backed up on the 14th Street Bridge at the time of the crash. How many motorists were injured by the impact of the jetliner... I don't want to let you down. ...not known at this time. <sighs> We have been asked to tell all... You're not letting me down. Al, you're my strength. You're my courage. We will continue to update you throughout the afternoon on this late-breaking... Oh, Father, who art in heaven... Hallow it be thy name. I can come. come. I, I will, will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. this day, daily bread. Our daily bread. Yours. Give us our trespasses. Please forgive those who trespass against us. We forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us. Deliver us from evil. From evil. Fight is the kingdom of ah. power. And the glory. And the glory. glory. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen.
right, we're going close. Take them out one at a time. On the right. We'll try for him first. I know Nikki was on that plane. I know. I know she was supposed to go to Alabama, but oh, I gotta call her mom. popular drink.
He'll call you. He always does. Got to take him from the right side. You try it from over there, that tail rod is going to connect with some junk. Be in the river with him.
like the guy at GT saw it on the TV. Well, Joe lost her in the water. She's dead. Nikki's dead. difficult due to the severe weather conditions in the mom's pictures area at the time of the crash i don't want to see 4 p.m eastern standard time a park police helicopter arrived after the crash dropping flotation rings to the survivors floundering in the river as yet none of the identities what about the others what about nikki Fouch? It was a Priscilla brought in, uh, Kelly. But Nikki, 
Sometimes she's called Pat. Maybe she was taken to another hospital. Someone on the plane? My fiance. You know, they rescued three women. What was your fiance's name? Nikki Felch. It was a Pat Finch. Wait, Pat's her real name. Pat Felch. Pat Finch is at the Washington Hospital. Okay? Yeah. Keep an eye on this fellow, ma'am. He likes to swim in ice packed rivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know all about him. Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Good night. Thanks. I just spoke with your father. He's flying up, and he'll be with you in the morning. Mi corazón. Mi corazonito. Mi vida. Jose. Jose. Roger, you smell awful. Jeff Fuel. And I, I, I took a 40 minute hot shower at the hospital. I want another one, though. May never be warm again. Listen, you go take your shower and I'll get some nice warm clothes ready for you. to be here, Woofer. You shouldn't have driven all the way in here in this weather. I told him. Oh, hush. Never let go of your hands again.
gonna make it. See, we're getting married in May. No matter what she says. And the rotor wash blew the ropes away. And this man, the sixth guy, he pushed it back. Twice, uh, he pushed the ropes over to the others. Had his chance and passed it to somebody else. Then, uh, when we went back for him, he was gone. And these were not the only heroes. It was Arlen. Arlen Olean, a sheet metal foreman at St. Elizabeth's Hospital, was credited by... I know, it had to be Arlen. the courage to hang on until help came. Olean swam and crawled for 20 minutes until a helicopter arrived on the scene. It was moments later, after the helicopter arrived, that we saw... We should go to bed. You must be tired. Me? No, I'm not tired. No, I am. And you're going to be up at that crack of dawn exercising. No, I think maybe I've had enough exercise for a while. It must have been terrible out there. It was terrible, but you know something? Today in that river, I did my best. Best I could ever do. And something else. I love those people. Strangers. But I felt like they were family. More than family. For a little while. Thank you.